All right, one of the big things you're going to have to do in this section is be able to determine when f, f prime, and f double prime are either positive, negative, or even equal to zero. Right. And so let's just look at a single point first. In the next example, we'll look at a lot of different points and kind of think about what we use to determine these things. And now when you, when you do these problems, there's going to be a lot going through your mind, but try to just isolate the part you're looking at. Right. So let's just think about f right now. So f of 2. Is f of 2 positive, negative, or equal to 0? Well, f of 2, if I came to this graph, I'd see that if I plug in 2, I get an output somewhere between 4 and 5. So is this positive, negative, or greater than 0? Well, 5 is positive, right? So I'd say f of 2 is positive. So I figure out what f is. Now, f prime of 2, that's not asking me the same thing, right? That is, that's asking me about the slope of f at 2. Slope of f at 2, if I draw a tangent line here, I can see that this tangent line has a negative slope, right? So f prime of 2 is going to be less than 0. Now, is f double prime of 2 greater than 0, less than 0, or equal to 0? Well, what do I look for there? Here I just looked for what the value was of the graph. Here I looked for the slope, and here what I look for is the concavity. So this part of the graph is concave down. right? If you poured water on it, it would dump off. Here, if you poured water on it, it would pool up. right? So this part of the graph would be concave up, but this part is concave down, so this is going to be less than 0. Now if they ask you to search for something like where is f double prime equal to 0, that's going to be where the concavity switches. right? So this part is definitely concave down. This part is definitely concave up. Where does it switch? I would probably say somewhere, maybe even about there, right? So maybe at like 2.75, right? Somewhere close to there. A lot of times in your homework, if they ask you this in your homework, most a lot of times it'll be an integer, or it'll be a little bit easier to pick out than it is here. Okay, so let's look to an example where we look at a lot of things, a lot of different points, and so it can get easy to kind of get bogged down in this, but I really want you to just focus on f, it's asking you for the output value, right? f prime, it's asking you for the slope of the tangent line, f double prime, it's asking you for the concavity, right? So f of a, is this less than zero, greater than zero, equal to zero? Well, f of a is below the x-axis, you know, it has a value of somewhere between negative one and negative two, so this is negative. f prime of a, you can see the tangent line that I already drew here. The, the slope of the tangent line at A is equal to 0. right? Remember that this is the graph of f of x, not f prime. That's important. And then f double prime, we're looking for the concavity at A, and this is definitely concave up. right? So at B, we have kind of a similar set of things to go through. right? What's the output value? Well, the output value here is actually 0. So that tells us that f of B is equal to 0. And if I want to look at the slope at b, remember you have to think about that tangent line. If I want to think about f prime of b, I want to think about that tangent line. And the tangent line you can see here, no matter how bad I draw it, is going to be positive, right? This is an increasing line, so this is greater than 0. And f double prime, we still need to ask about the concavity. And it looks like this part of the graph, it's still concave up, right? So this would be greater than 0. Now let's take a look at c. So is f of c greater than 0, equal to 0, less than 0. So c is above the x-axis, so that's greater than 0. f prime of c, again, I draw my tangent line. I see that it's an increasing line. So it has a positive slope, and it's greater than 0. Now f double prime of c, this is a good point where it looks like a concavity switching, right? It's concave up here. It's concave down here. So I would say this is a point where f double prime of c is equal to zero. It's in between a concave up and a concave down section. Let's look at D. So D, again, it's above the x-axis, so f of D is greater than zero. f prime of D, so we draw the tangent line for that, and that's going to be equal to zero. And for this, for f double prime, we need to know the concavity. This is concave down, so it's less than zero. And then E. E is still above the x-axis, so this is greater than zero. The slope of the tangent line here is now negative, so this is less than zero. And f double prime of e, it's still in the concave down section of the graph, 
so this is less than zero. So again, just take it step by step. Know that f is asking you about kind of the height, more or less, is the height positive or negative? f prime is asking you about the slope of the tangent line, and f double prime is asking you about the concavity. And again, that's assuming we're looking at f of x.